Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Sajjad Muhammad Barber. I'm a master student from civil engineering department. And uh, I'm doing research on uh, the effect of rains, the landsliding, and the rock slope failure you might have ever seen. Uh, lot, uh, you have seen in the Japan or uh, any other country many landslidings and uh, uh, many rock slope failures. But before going to detail, uh, I would like to tell you about uh, why I selected uh, this topic. So, first of all, just uh, uh, personal information about me. Uh, Sajjad Muhammad Barber, the uh, name and the uh, height. And one day I was searching about the meaning of uh, Barber, which I prefer to be called as, and uh, the Google gave me this picture, which uh, I think uh, about 80% suits me. Okay. So. Okay, my s first question from you. Can you guess where I'm from? Sorry. Uh, we can give you one hint. Yes, I'm from Pakistan. And uh, those who don't know, the Pakistan is uh, uh, here. And uh, if you just maximize this, zoom in, so you can see the Pakistan. And the Japan, you can guess where it is. So this is the actual map of my country. Uh, I have been working for uh, some construction company before coming here for about six years. So at basically I'm from here, but I have been working in this area that is uh, the capital of our country, that is Islamabad. So near that area, uh, we have a lot of good sceneries. I can, uh, I'm going to show you a few glimpses of that uh, area. Uh, this is a scene from this. Uh, let us is all we have. And this is the actual city where I was working and my office was uh, uh, near about here. This is the Jainan River and this is a pen. And this is the third highest peak in HGP. We also have uh, the second highest peak of the world that is Ketu. And uh, this is Valley, Dayport, Panjusa Lake, Okay, so the next question. Who wants to visit these places? <laughs> oh, many people. Okay, give on your answer. I'll tell you the opposite story, the second side of the picture. These are the roads to reach on such places. <laughs> uh, you can see the huge mountain, there is road, this is the actual road, and then down there, there is a river. And such type of interest will be there. And uh, I would like to show you a short movie, if you can find. There's no signal, there are no mirror, so they, uh, one of them have to go and check the other side and then we will tell him, okay, now you can come. Okay. And sometimes, if there is rain, these roads are blocked. Uh, this road, the slow failure is uh, because of rain. And sometimes, without rain, there can also be a blockage of road. And there can be a lot of, lot of use of the vehicles. And sometimes, it happens. No, again. <laughs> oh, very less. Okay, so that's the basic motivation that I selected this field because so many people are living there and uh, their lives are very precious and uh, in 
Not only in Pakistan, there are many other countries having such a huge landslide failures, such a lot, lot of landslides cause a huge li uh, loss of lives and uh, property. So that was the basic thing. So I started to work, make research on the weathering. Uh, what is the actually? So there are different uh, mechanisms that occur, some rain, some sunshine, some uh, wet and dry process, and it makes the rocks from natural condition to the, uh, this uh, highly, heavily weathered rock. And my focus of this study to just study, uh, to make the uh, sample in the lab, having some artificial uh, weathering processes in lab, doing wet and drying, and checking how much life is there. So these are, uh, this is just uh, uh, my laboratory weathering, that there's rainfall, then there's venting, this water get freezed, then spring comes, it melts, then uh, summer comes, it boils, get away, drying, and then again cooling. So this process keep on for many years, and then it smokes, and whenever there is again rain, it just slides down. Thank you very much.